Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you can help me with uh, an activity. Okay, what activity? Is the number 2.2. 2.2? 2. 2. 2. Yes, I am in point four but uh, uh, the platform is is this a great with my answer okay okay I, let me so section two two point two okay wait a second two Okay, let me see, yeah, 2.2. .2. Let me share my screen right now. Okay. Uh, Here, what part? Uh, I, I think uh, I have that. Uh, the, the system don't accept my answer. I have the four. This one? Yes, I have. Yes, yes. Okay, is, so how did you write it? Okay, uh, si, si se lo mando para que lo ve. Mm, okay. So in the chat. If you are agree. Okay, so you're gonna send me, you're gonna send me the answer to the chat. Yes. Okay. A lot of people in urban, urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Is being threatened by air pollution. Uh, okay. The health of people in urban areas. This one, I, I think it's this one. You see, is being threatened. Remember it's that the being. verb to be is the one that is <clears throat> going to indicate the time. This part right here, the verb, the main verb, every time it's going to be um, past participle. So the verb to be is the one that is going to be, is going to indicate the time. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, I, I know. Just that one? It, it was the only one? Yes, is the only one. Okay. Okay. Perfect. You, mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay. Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. Thank you very much for your punctuality. Um, so thank you to the people who sent the date already. So thank you for doing that because you know that it's it, that's the first thing we do in the class, right? Writing the date so we don't forget how to write the date in English. And remember, when you send the date, send it privately, send it only to Inglés Corporativo, please, not to everybody, okay? Thank you very much for writing the date. And the ones that haven't written the date, please send your answers to the chat. Okay, excellent, Adriana too, very good. Excellent, Miguel. The only part, Miguel, is that the letter M is capital, remember, is capital. Okay, perfect. Now, guys, listen, we're gonna do another activity today, a pronunciation activity again, because we only did the Peter Piper thing, so we're, today we're gonna practice another one. So we're gonna do um, 
pronunciation practice. And also we have two grammar topics that we're gonna to discuss today. But the first thing to do is a pronunciation practice. So I'm just waiting on your classmates to come here. Like we are eight people, so seven students and me. So let's hope some others connect during the class or during the beginning of the class. But I do really appreciate your punctuality to the people that are always punctual to the class. Now, Luis was asking a question about the platform. I don't know if any of you have other questions about the platform that I can help you with right now. I, I am a little confused with the number three and four because I, I write in the answer and the send on the set, but I, I don't send me worry. Send me what is the number three, please, please. No, no, that's my job. Okay. Send me what is the number three? Send me to the chat, like you send the other one. Okay. And I'm gonna tell you what is the problem. In WhatsApp or in no in, here, like like here, you send okay. the like you send the other one. Uh, the system <laughs> converts to Spanish everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, uh, the sí, me lo cambió todo a inglés. A español, I'm sorry. So can you read it? Just read it for me. Okay, uh, say uh, learning to learn in English in Australia or Canada. Uh, I say to learning or to learn, see, yes, to learning, but uh, uh, that is what? Is two, point, two point what is that one? 3.4. 3.4, oh, I thought you said three and four, so I was in the same exercise. 3.4, wait a second. Yes. So 3.4, here is 3.4. Okay, so that's to learn, to learn, to learn. Okay, would you rather, uh, okay, remember that would you prefer when we use will you prefer where you want to use to before the verb but when we use would you rather we don't write to before the verb we just write the verb we don't write the to okay so please it's not only learn learning exactly exactly remember that only with prefer you're gonna use the to but with rather, you're just gonna use the verb. Yes, I, I but learn and learning don't accept the system. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why. Okay, let me see. Would you rather learn English? But I got it correct. You see, let me share my screen with you. You see, would you rather learn? It says. Okay, I. Let me send it here to the chat to you. Okay, in the WhatsApp group, I send the picture. Give me a little moment. And yeah. Okay, I'm sorry in this moment. Yes, except <laughs> I tried with the learn and with learning, and then it, no. Now, but it worked right now? Yes, right now, yes, I accept. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Nothing else? No, anymore. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank guys. You uh huh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, guys, um, welcome to the other ones that are just connecting. We were just discussing some answers with Luis. Um, if you have problems with the platform, you can always tell me because I'm gonna help you solve those, those questions, those doubts, okay? So thank you very much for being here. Thank you to Jasmine, who's back. Jasmine was not here yesterday. So we have Jasmine again today. Excellent. Um, we're just waiting on other classmates, but we're going to start already because we need to get started right now. Okay, so the topic we have for today, it's we're going to practice have or get something done. And we're also going to practice vocabulary, three word phrasal verbs. That's something that we're going to be practicing today. <clears throat> now, the people send already to the chat the date. So thank you very much to the people that send the date to the chat. And now I'm gonna share the, the pronunciation practice we're gonna be doing today. Wait a second. There it is. So this is the date, as you already know. This is the topic. This is the class number 10. I don't know why, but I feel like this module has gone so fast. And this is the pronunciation practice. So the pronunciation practice we're gonna be having today, it's a little bit not difficult, but different. It's a lot of sh sounds, okay? It's a lot of sh. So I'm gonna read it slow for you. She sells sea shells by the sea shore the sea shells she sells are sea shells i'm sure so if she sells sea shells seashells seashells así se lee completo seashells by the seashore then i'm sure she sells seashore shells i'm gonna go again a little bit faster let's say <clears throat> she sells seashells by the seashore the seashells she sells are seashells i'm sure so if she sells seashells by the seashore then i'm sure she sells seashore shells i'm gonna say it a little bit faster right now so you can practice that so she sells seashells by the seashore the seashells she sells all seashores i'm sure so i wait a second she sells seashells by the seashore the seashells she sells are seashells i'm sure so if she sells seashells by the seashore then i'm sure she sells seashore shells something like that okay but you have to be really careful, really careful, because here your mind will tell you she sells, she sells, and your su mente como que va a querer decir she sells, she sells. It's not she sells, it's she sells, she sells. So pay attention when it's a C sound and when it's a sh sound. It's different. So don't get confused with that. She sells seashells, seashells, not she sells is seashells by the seashore okay try to pay specific attention to the first letter so you will understand the seashells she sells are seashells i'm sure so if she sells seashells by the seashore then i'm sure she sells seashore shells what you're going to do in this moment, you're not going to say it like really fast, like she sells seashells by the seashore. You're going to go step by step. What I need you to do is pay attention to every single word you're saying. That's the most important thing. Pay attention to every word. Then you can start adding speed, but don't go with speed first. Try to say it step by step, word by word. Are you ready to practice or do you need me to repeat a pronunciation? Repeat, teacher. The whole thing? All the tongue twister? Okay. One more time. <clears throat> okay. She sells 
seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. No voy a decir sure, sure, sure. So, if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay. I do really hope you're practicing and you're repeating this because if not, it's like when you go to the gym and the trainer is doing the workout and you're like, uh -huh, cabal. but you're not doing the workout and you have to do the workout. So I'm like the trainer in the gym. I tell you what to do, but you have to do it more. So when I go to the breakout rooms, I don't want you to be like, teacher, we practiced, we finished. You didn't finish. You need to be saying it again, say 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 it again, because you have to say it a lot of times. So your tongue, the muscles in your mouth and your vocal cords get used to the English, okay? Right now we're practicing the sound of the letter S and the sound of the letter SH, that it was gonna be sh, sh. So we're practicing two sounds, S and sh. She sells, she sells. And those sounds can be confused. So you can get confused with those two sounds, but you have to pay specific attention and look at the letters. So I'm gonna say it one more time. She sells, she shells by the seashore, the seashells. She sells our seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay? Yes? Perfect. Did you take a screenshot that already? Take a screenshot. Please. Ready? Perfect. So we're gonna practice. Remember, when we go to practice, you have to practice a lot. You don't have to be like, teacher, we finished. We did it. No, you have to practice. It's a lot of practice there. I think, um, Marcos Celayandia is not able to turn on the microphone, so he's just going to be a listener right now. Milton, you have to join the breaker rooms. Hello, 
Milton. Ok, teacher, please. Le envié la invitación ahí, ¿no le llegó? Y no. Mm. Please repeat. No estaba en la plataforma. <ríe> <ríe> estaba practicando aparte. Ah, vaya, espéreme. ¿Tú vas a aceptar esa? Esa no. Ok. En la dos, en la dos sí. Yes. There we go. Perfect. Nelsi, what happened? Hello, teacher. <clears throat> I feel a, a, some sick. <laughs> I don't feel well, but I try to be in, in English class. And can you explain me what are you doing or what is, which is the activity? Because I'm supposed to connect in English class. Okay, so right now your classmates are just working in this. This is a pronunciation practice. So if they are practicing um, how to say this tongue twister. Okay. So I don't know if you want to practice alone. And yes, I can tell yes. you the pronunciation. Yes, yes, I will try. Okay. I'm going to read the pronunciation for you twice. Okay. And okay. then if you want, just turn off your microphone and you practice alone. Okay. Okay. Thanks. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells 
I'm going to repeat one more time. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay. I'm I'm going to try to to repeat. Okay. And okay. I'm I, I'm doing the, the exercise. Okay. If you want to, you can repeat alone for some time and then you can tell me if you want to say it. Okay. Okay. Thank Perfect. you. Teacher. Yes, you're welcome. I hope you feel better. Thank you. Teacher, excuse me. I didn't take a, a, a screenshot. Can you, can I, I take a, the screenshot? Yes, of course. Yes, excuse me. Don't worry, it's okay. There, you can take the screenshot. Okay. Thank you, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, Nesta. My turn. Okay. She sells shell by the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashell by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells.
Next. Superstitious. I am sure. Sure. So no, if sure. 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 No, sure. I am sure. So uh, yes. if he sells seashells by the seashore, then I am sure seashore yes. sells. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Okay. Sure, I, no. I'm sure. going to try that sure, sure. Yes. Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean you, very okay. fast. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay, Woo! good. <laughs> okay, she sells seashells by the seashore. The seashell she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. <laughs> She sells yeah. seashell, but uh, me uh, or, or oh, yeah. you? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, she sells seashell by the by the seashore. The seashell she sells are seashell. I'm sure. So if she sells seashell by this by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shell. Okay. She sells seashell by the seashore. The seashore she sells a seashell, I'm sure. So if she sells seashell by the seashore, then I'm sure is she shall she sell seashore shell. Okay. She sells seashell by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. So is she sells seashell by the seashore? And I'm sure she sells seashore shells.
Why are you laughing so much? What happened in the breaker rooms? It seems like you were having fun. Eh, es que estaba, el, estaba diciendo, no. traté de decir el trabalenguas en cinco segundos, pero a medias me quedé. Cabal para venirnos para acá. Okay, so aquí es su chance. This is, this is your time. This is your moment. Okay. Yasmin. Your time, Jasmine. It's your time. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ahí voy, ahí voy. Espérenme, <laughs> voy a abrir el, el, el computer. Okay. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. You did a really, really, really excellent <laughs> job with pronunciation. <laughs> By the time it's, uh, 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 sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, 11, okay. 17, something. Wow. Oh, I did it. my best. I did Ven esa best. luchita que sale de ahí. Ya van a ver. Ven. Ah, sí, sí, sí. <laughs> 11 seconds with, uh, 11 when I mean 71 seconds that's what you get but you did a really good job with the pronunciation Jasmine it was an excellent thank pronunciation you. yes thank you okay someone else besides Jasmine want to try me teacher I'm practicing perfect Miguel tell me just One, Miguel two, just Miguel remember something is sure because I went to the break sure. rooms and I heard and I heard you saying sure, but it's short. Short. Yes. Short. <laughs> short. Okay. One, two, three. She sells seashell by the sea short. The seashell she sell are she are seashell and short. So if she sell seashell by the sea short, then I am sure she sell seashore shell. I'm sure you said at the end is I'm sure, but good job. Look, this is your, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, there is your time. Okay. 14, Bye, 14 seconds. Yes. Excellent. Good job, Miguel. That, that, that's the first thing you have to try. That's the first thing. Marcos, you want to say it? Sure. Okay. Chisels are for the teacher. The show, the show, chisels are teacher. Yeah, you did as much as Jasmine, but you got a little bit confused in the second line, right? You got like a little bit confused yeah, there. I, 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 but it's, oh, uh, sorry, it, it's there. Ah. It's there. It's 1190. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Nobody else wants to try? Nope. Teacher, me. Okay, Milton. Excellent. Yeah, Okay. Okay. She sells seashell by the seashore. The seashell she sells are seashell. I'm sure. So if she sells seashell by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Good pronunciation, Milton. Yes. Good job. Perfect. Now, Thank guys, you. I'm not going to be timing how long you take because we just practiced this today. So I'm going to be timing you on Monday, but today is just pronunciation. And you did a really good pronunciation, Milton. Excellent. I'm um, sorry, Luis, you had your um, hand up. Do you want to say it? Yes, but uh, you, you have the picture because I am writing. I, okay. Let I me write it. Mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Okay. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I am sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I am sure she sells seashells. Excellent. Good job, Luis. Good job. Very good, guys. Guys, you're doing such a good job with pronunciation. Excellent. Excellent, Luis. Perfect. Okay, guys. Now, we, I mean, I'm going to stop here because, yes, we need to continue with the class. But, yeah, good job with pronunciation. Remember that for 
like to have a really good pronunciation, the only thing you have to do is to practice, 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 practice. Like when you go to the gym, you practice by doing the exercises, right? So you need to practice the same here. If you want to speak English, you have to speak English. That's why many people say, um, yeah, teacher, yo puedo entenderlo, pero hablarlo. If like, that's all the time. People say that all the time. But why do they say that? Because they hear people speaking English. They listen to people speaking English, but that but they don't speak English. Okay, so that's the main problem. You have to speak it if you want to be perfect at it. So that's this is a good way to do it. Now we're gonna watch a video about have and get something done, and then we're gonna do some um, sentences with that information. So please pay attention to this. And yeah, now. You can get a repair. Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you that in English, we can say the same idea in another way. Does active and passive voice ring a bell? Stay and find out. Page 59, exercise three, grammar focus. Have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. Okay, so I need you to pay specific attention right here. Passive voice and active voice, we have been talking about the topic a little bit. Like in this module, we have been talking about that. Yes. So now, <clears throat> what I need you to pay attention is have and get. They are used to get to something to be done. For example, I need someone to fix my car. So I need some, I have, okay, so I can have someone fix my car. What I need you to pay attention here right now is when you are going to say who is going to fix and then the object they are going to fix, you're going to use the active voice following the structure, of course have, you can have, or you can get, or you have Hazel personal services, fix your bike. And then you need to have the person or the place or whatever it's going to do it. And then the object or what they are going to fix or what they are going to, to do for you. In the passive voice, it's the opposite. You're gonna mention you can have or you can get a same as here, but in this case, you're not mentioning the person or the place in the middle. You're mentioning the object. So you can have your bike, you see, here is at the end and here is in the middle, your bike. And as you change that, you're making the passive voice. And remember always for the passive voice, we're gonna use the verb in the past participle. So that's why they are using fixed instead of fix. And then you can mention the place or who is going to do it by ASOS personal services or at. So you can go to this place and at that place, they are gonna fix your bike. Let's continue listening. I know this is not new for you. Active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English, we may say the same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base. So this is what I was explaining to you have 
someone or somewhat and the base form of the verb. So you can have a Hazel's workshop to fix your bike or fix your bike. I mean, fix your bike. Base form of the verb. Let's type an example using it. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. And if you see and you pay attention here, it's following the structure. Eat the person, then you're doing, you're using get here. The person or the place where they are going to do it, a repair shop. And then the infinitive verb, to fix your bike. And the verb obviously is in the base form. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Now, if we want to do this in the passive voice, look at here. We're gonna use also, always, you can get. But now we're not gonna talk about who is going to do it. We're going to talk about what? In the passive voice, we don't talk about the person, we talk about the? The object. So the bike, right? You can get your bike. And now what happens with the verb? We're gonna write it in? Past participle. Past participle, okay. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. So again, I'm telling you, when I use the active voice, I pay, pay attention to the, who is going to do it, to the subject. But when I use the passive voice, I pay specific attention to the object. That's what you need to be paying attention right now to. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object plus past participles. It's optional to use at or buy. She says that it's optional to use at or buy, but if you want to be specific, for example, I said, hey, you can have your cat, your car fixed, or you can have your food, food cooked, but who's going to do it? By a chef, maybe you can have your food cook, cooked by a chef, but it's optional to use by or at. So that's extra information. I want you to work in class. I want you to talk about two things you want to have done. Okay, let's try to do some exercises right now. We heard that explanation already and we're gonna do it again. Okay, so here. Now we're gonna talk about, I, I want to get my, no, but let's do it with the same structure you have. I can get my car fixed tomorrow. I can get my car fixed tomorrow. Okay. Now this is a passive voice, okay? But if I want to focus on the, on the active voice, I can, get a repair shop to, and now I'm using to because I'm not paying attention to the, to the object. I'm paying attention to the, who's realizing the, who's doing the action, the repair shop, of course. I can get a repair shop to fix my car tomorrow. And here, as you heard in the video, it's optional to use that because here I can, I can or I can't at the buy a repair shop like that. That's just extra information. So I can get my car fixed tomorrow by a repair shop. This action right here, it's going, they are going to do it. But if I don't mention this, I just say it like that, you're going to understand 
that I'm gonna get someone to do this activity for me. I'm gonna write one in active voice. So this is an active voice. Mm. right her friend so you can get the chef to cook your meal that's um that's a passive that's that's an active voice and the second one is a passive voice let's do another one Okay, now we have three sentences and I want you to make these three sentences into the different voice. So for example, the first one right here, it's an active voice and I want you to make this one passive. Okay, so the activity is to make this one passive voice. The second one is a passive voice. And I want you to make this one an active voice. And the, set, the last one, we can get the boss to give us a break. That's an, the same thing as this one. Active and we are gonna make it passive. Do you understand the activity? Or nah? <laughs> I know that you have had problems with the passive and the active voice. The last time we were practicing this topic a lot, I remember. So the first one, for example, let's do the first one. I'm gonna do the first one with you. You can get the chef to cook your meal. This is active voice. If I want to do it in the passive voice, I'm gonna repeat. The first thing is gonna be the same. You can get, but now, the passive voice is going to pay attention to the object. What is the object? Your meal. Your meal. Correct. You can get your meal. Now we are talking about the passive voice. The verb needs to go in the past person. In the past participle, right? So you can get your meal cooked because this is a regular verb. You can get your meal cooked. Who's gonna cook the meal? By the chef. The chef, correct, by the chef, just like that. That's what you're going to do. That's the activity you're going to do. I help you with the first one. Let's do the other two, okay? Take a screenshot, please take a screenshot. And I'm gonna send you to work on that and then we come back and then we go because that's, that's the time we have. Okay, let's try to work on that really quick and then we're gonna, we're gonna leave the meeting. Acepta la invitación.
Past participe the verb. Arise. To give. To go. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Please repeat. We can get. Arise. We can get a rise. A rise. Is past participle. It is. Um, what is. In the in the in the passive voice, we are we are talking the the her friends and that is the subject. And I'm agree with the with the classmate. She can get the the which she can get her the I I confuse. She, she, Hello guys. So that was, I know that can be a little bit complicated, the passive voice. So we're gonna discuss the topic again tomorrow, okay? Because I know the, yeah, it can be a, a little bit difficult. So right now oh, it's Monday. time, or I mean, yeah, Monday, Monday, I'm sorry, tomorrow we don't Monday, have class. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm out of my mind, sorry. Yes, on Monday <laughs> we're gonna, uh, during the weekend, please try to practice the tongue twister, okay? because that's going to help you with your pronunciation. And on Monday, we're going to continue with this topic, okay? Thank you. Have a good weekend, guys, and I will see you on Monday. Bye. Teacher, I have a question. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Uh, the platform say I am a assistant. You are what? Dice, usted está inscrito en el curso como asistente. Yeah, uh, too many people. Yeah, yeah. You're not the only one. That's it. It says that to other people too. Pero no tengo que preocuparme hoy. Yes. I don't think you have to. No, don't. Don't worry. Okay. You can. Pueden verlo un mensaje al administrativo. You can do that. Pero okay. es como que si estamos estudiando, no nos van a decir. Sí, sí. No, no, no. Pero mándeles un mensaje al administrativo. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't worry. Bye-bye.